And all the boys are going to join hands and make a nice circle around the girls. My name is Patrick Klugman. Um, my name is Patrick Klugman. I remember as a kid, I always struggled with the fact that it was pronounced Patrick instead of Patrick, given that it's spelled the way that it is, um, instead of using like a CH after the T, so it'd be Patrick. Um, anyways, it's, it always just frustrated me that like I had to, it phonetically didn't make sense to me, and so I always struggled with really using my name in a way that felt authentic. And so, yeah, I started going by Pat. I'm reminded of the predictive force of the will be in Boys Will Be Boys and how that predictive force takes what is expected of Boy and assumes that he will perform what is expected of him. I think I had to balance a lot of things and a lot of considerations. I don't think I remember a childhood very well. It's funny, like in watching these home videos that I've uncovered from years and years ago, I. I don't remember those events. And I think that's pretty like standard. Like, yes, like our, we're, our brains are developing and we, we don't really remember a lot of things from our childhood. But at the same time, it's like, is there something there of like not wanting to remember things? I'm not entirely sure. One of the harder parts of boyhood was learning how to be a brother. And it wasn't so much how to, how to be a brother when I was younger. I always, being the younger sibling essentially means that you kind of get a pass of like, you're the one to be protected and you're the one to be like um, looked after and involved in things that your older sibling does. My brother looked after me in some ways, but I also think he tried to socialize me in ways that prevented bullying from other people. I remember one time we were playing baseball and I struck out and he, it was just me and him and he was like, if you, if you don't start hitting the ball, you're, everyone's going to call you a girl. And I mean, you're such a girl anyways, like you don't want that to happen to you. And he was trying to like predict what was expected of me. And in that like, I was a boy who, would, who wasn't being boy. And I think that was hard for him to watch in some ways. It's really interesting to have an older brother who will look after you and try to protect you. Um, and those all sound great until they become until they become inhibitive and you're trying to express who you are and he still sees himself as like the protecting force. However, he's not aware that like it doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to. I don't need protection at this point. I think in large part, I, I feel really grateful for my family and everything that I am and will be and like the forces that have worked to put me here and for what I've done for myself and for the reclamation of Patrick and the fact that boy will or won't be boy and man can be man. But I think I want man to be a functional man, and I want man to do good, maybe, which isn't expected of man. <laughs> there are parts of boyhood that I loved, and um, oftentimes though, those things that I loved about it felt like they were going against the grain of what was expected of me. Um, and I think finding comfort from people around me, though, um, despite that, is what I loved about boyhood. Now all the boys in Miss Kathy's room are gonna go around the girls. All the boys in Miss Nancy's room. <laughs>